हेलो एवरी वन होप सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज ऑटोजेनिक ड्रेनेज ऑटोजेनिक ड्रेनेज इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ कार्डियो पलमनरी फिजिकल थेरेपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑटोजेनिक ड्रेनेज ऑटोजेनिक ड्रेनेज इज एन एयर वे क्लियरेंस टेक्निक इन विच पेशेंट ब्रीद एट डिफरेंट लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड देन फोर्सफुली एक्सपायर टू थ्रो द म्यूकस आउट बाय हफ Remember that cuff is discouraged in autogenic drainage. Now there are three phases of autogenic drainage. Number one is unstick phase, number two is collect phase, and number third one is evacuate phase. In unstick phase, patient breathe at low lung volumes, and then mucus mobilizes. from distal airways to mid airways when the patient breathe at low lung volumes next phase is collect phase in collect phase patient breathe on tidal volume or you can say total lung volume which is the maximum capacity of the lungs you can also say that patient is breathing or patient is taking deep breath okay by taking deep breath or by breathing on tidal volume mucus coming in mid airways is then collected in central airways the last phase of the autogenic drainage is evacuate in evacuate phase mucus that is accumulated in central airways is then thrown out by huff technique and finally the mucus comes out okay in layman language if you wanted to uh, tell to your patient that how to do autogenic drainage you can say uh, or you can guide to your patient that you have to take deep breath and then hold the breath for about 2 minutes and then expire the mucus out do this technique for 3 to 4 times okay now we will discuss as i have already told you that cuff is discouraged in autogenic drainage now we will discuss about modified autogenic drainage in modified autogenic drainage there is no phase of unstick in autogenic drainage there were three phases unstick collect and evacuate but in modified drainage there are two phases collect and evacuate phase unstick phase is absent in modified autogenic drainage The reason for the absence of unstick phase is that unstick phase is very uncomfortable for the patient as the patient breathe on low lung volumes as we have discussed that's why in modified autogenic drainage unstick phase is skipped in modified autogenic drainage patient breathe on tidal volume because uh, the modified autogenic drainage starts from collect phase unstick phase is absent in it then when patient breathe on tidal volume after inspiration of each breath he holds for 3 seconds and the next phase starts unstick phase is not present in modified autogenic drainage it is done in sitting position both autogenic drainage and modified autogenic drainage are done in sitting position and both are done twice a day for about 30 to 45 minutes Both of these techniques are for airway clearance because in bedridden patients mucus is accumulated in their lungs and they are not able to remove the mucus out and that's why their lungs can be compromised that's why these airway clearance techniques are used in bedridden patients to throw their mucus out so that their lungs might not be compromised in bedridden patients also airway clearance techniques help to maintain the tidal volume of the patient in abdominal surgeries cuff is discouraged because cuff increases the abdominal pressure and in abdominal surgery patients we uh, put a pillow on the patient's abdomen and then allow the patient to cuff that was all about our today's lecture hope so you will like my video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell notification button